196 public episode. Do you guys think Kate Middleton is dead? Uh, uh, dead yes. sexy. Did you I, see well, that picture? I, I did see the Photoshop picture. <laughs> I think she That's died. So cool. I think there's some sort of disease that they all have because Charles has cancer. Camilla mm-hmm. is like taking a leave of absence mm-hmm. where she should be trying to take over. And then Kate Middleton, she hasn't been seen in three months. And there, there's that weird AI picture of her with her kids where they all have like the wrong number of fingers and shit. And mm-hmm. her legs are the wrong length. Why? Why are they all dead? They're using a, the same picture that they, she used on her Vanity Fair cover. It's literally the yeah, same picture. Yeah, it's from a magazine. It like but on, a, with on it another perfectly. person. Very, very strange to be like. So weird. Hey, here's this picture we took because you guys keep saying she's not around. Well, here she is. And now even the uh, the they news- had to withdraw. It. Yeah, the newspaper there had to withdraw. They had to strike down the the story because it appears to be altered. And they said no, yeah. no replacement photo will be produced. <laughs> she has to be dead. It wouldn't be that crazy to take a picture like in the hospital. Well, may, I know, but like BBL, they don't want BBL people to Middleton's know that coming. she's. Oh, that'd be awesome. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, that'd be fucking cool. It's the same reasoning that catfishes use, like Angel uses. Like, well, you can't take a picture of someone in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> you can't yeah. take a picture of someone within three months of a surgery. It's like people take selfies in the hospital all the fucking time, like those carnivore diet people, all those They're Facebook always groups. In the hospital. It's one hundred percent posts from the hospital. Kate Middleton's gonna Every come back, one. and she's gonna have this public speech, and she's gonna have this ass that you can see from the front on both sides, like Cardi B, and she's gonna be like, "I was sick." That would be dope. Uh, uh, you know what? I would support her for that. Me too. Absolutely. I I think she's probably just very sick or like something she probably has like an allergic reaction that won't go away and like they she won't let people take photos what if she looks like amy schumer that'd be oh i just feel bad for uh for wizza he's not gonna be able to find a wife if she's dead who's gonna marry a guy with so many kids single guy with so many kids (laughs) i don't know that's a good question i call him wizza Mm -hmm. i love i love all the fucking the what would you even call that? The fucking anglifying of names when you like the nicknames like Jezza. And I guess so. Gaz. Gaz, yeah. Gaz is a great one. I'm glad we didn't import those. <laughs> yeah. Then we do have a lot of dumb ones. Like we still we have. We should start um, calling Aaron as. No. <laughs> <laughs> like what are the what are That's the dumb cool. ones? The dumb ones like, that we that have. Will for Will. That's stupid. Uh, Dude, Dick I knew a Richard? kid that went by. I knew a kid that Dick went by for Richard. Yeah, that's stupid. I know a kid that went by uh, Billy, and his name was Philip. Oh, that's weird. That's fucked. That's up. so weird. I think that was yeah, just more of his one. choice, though. But it kind of confused mm-hmm. me as a kid because I'm like, "Can Phil's be Bill too?" And my dad was like, "No, that's stupid." Yeah, he should have to explain that. That that's just a name change. He did like, or he he would just tell us like, "My my real name's Philip, but you can call me Billy." Is that sort of thing? Uh, Henry Hank is a pretty weird. I like one. Hank. It starts Hank. with the same letter. Yeah, I love. I love. My Hank is a great name. I love the name Hank. We need some young Hanks. My brother's got my brother's got so he's got two old uh like old cell names. He's Dennis Charles. And we of course know okay. we we know our Charles too. So that's like a more old style name. Mm-hmm. One of my other brothers is Vincent. That's a pretty old style name. I got a yeah. I got a famously besides there's the one guy that makes me really hard to Google because there's just the, the famous guy, the finance The Economist. Yeah, the economist yeah. that he's pretty mm-hmm. leftist too, he's pretty cool. Uh, for for an economist anyway, but uh, besides that, they're mostly just some black guys, just some <laughs> black guy like home halfway. Oh, nice. Yep. God damn. There's quite a few people with my name that pop up. Like you won't find me. Which is probably a good name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for uh, that challenge. <laughs> There's probably a bunch of girls named Hannah Thomas. Tom. Oh, uh, there are. Tom actually. Lust. You mean your last name? That's Tom right. Lust. Tom, Lust. Tom Boy. <laughs> Tom Lust. <laughs> Tom Boy. Tom Boy, B O Y E. Johnny sends his mom, Bernice. Bernice sends. <laughs> It'd be so funny if a uh, porn star like that, that was actually just was their name. Oh, yeah, Johnny sends. Well, it, it was two N's. Well, maybe. <laughs> I just put it down to one. My was it Kevin Gates it that had a real name that's better than his fake name? Johnny sends actually just had a dog named it? Johnny when he was a kid and he lived on Sins Street. <laughs> <laughs> that was his porno name. Who was it? <laughs> so stupid. I don't know who it is. It's not Danny Brown either. There's some rapper mm. with just a normal name who has his legal name is way better of a name. But oh, I can't remember. Uh, Childish Gambino. Gunna, Sergio Kitchens. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's He's a good one of name. them anyway. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, Freddie Gibbs has just always been Freddie Gibbs, but it's a pretty good one. 
I mean, he just has a good name to have. Guys, what would your rap name be? Uh, uh it'd be my first dog on my street. I grew up. On. Both both <laughs> what names. What is your rap name? Both names I would have used are taken by Joey Badass and Corey Guns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Air and money. The first question is your favorite TV character. Homer. Uh, <laughs> Homer. Okay, my rap name is Jon Snow. <laughs> Okay, real life first name, uh, Tom. Real life last name, uh, Boy with an E. <laughs> the name of a criminal, uh, Obama. Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Something really pleasant, e.g., flowers, kittens, uh, poop, pussy, pago, eating uh, poop. An adjective to describe you or your music, poop, <laughs> dank, wicked, poopy. <laughs> the name of your favorite childhood pet, <laughs> Lingle. Poop. <laughs> okay, let's see. Turd. Tomastic TB. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lingle good. Obama. Oh, oh yeah, like that Obama's one a lot. Good one. <laughs> Tom Ormus B. Tom Ormus. T O yeah. M spelled out. Inspecta Poopy. T B Obama. Homer Sarcoma. <laughs> Homer Sarcoma. Is it like Kaposi Sarcoma? Homer Sarcoma is uh, <laughs> Homer Sarcoma. Homer Sarcoma is a Brazilian rapper that sells out. <laughs> you would have to be a gay rapper who has AIDS. <laughs> and you're you're like proudly HIV positive because like sarcoma. why would you have sarcoma in your name? Homer sarcoma, a big lingle. Ooh. Homer Homer who? <laughs> big lingle. No. Uh, Homer misnomer. Oh, I'm really Ooh. Obama I'm really into, drama. I'm really into lingle Obama. <laughs> lingle Obama is like, pretty good. Lingle Obama. The real one. Tom. Oh, okay. That's something I would come up with if I was like eleven. <laughs> Oh, the kind of rap songs Tomastic TB might perform. The Homer Effect. Bling-a-ding lingle. Flippin' poop. I'm still Tom from the streets. Ooh, so like poopy, I think I'll scream. Tom is as Tom does. Yep. Lingle better have my poop. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. It's like bitch better have my money by Rihanna, but they put in the words. Yeah, that's cool. Follow I like that the poop. One. I ain't no Obama. Nurse better could you have train, my bandage. Could you train your lingle to <laughs> nurse better uh, have my poop. <laughs> find your poop? Fuck. I heard he's got a couple dozen nurses coming over fixing his <laughs> leg wounds. Lingle's, oh, yeah. They send Lingle's, a squad. Lingle's tweet the other he's day about date him. how his, one of his nurses just became a nurse and said she, he said she has no faith in herself and thinks she's not good at her job, but he said he told her that's ridiculous. I'd never, <laughs> I'd never be able to heal these leg wounds without you. Yeah. <laughs> God, that's so ridiculous. <laughs> what are the leg wounds, stupid head man? cannon. God damn it! He shouldn't dude. have lay unless he oh, was damn. like. He got hit by I think a head he was trying to cover too. himself. He was trying to cut himself a new pussy. <laughs> oh, Alex, he got hit by a head true. cannon too. Oh no, <laughs> this kid's getting hurt yeah. all over. He got I, hit by I, a, a hand cannon. Damn. I love that he tries to. He thinks he's tricked everybody by saying like his leg wounds are hereditary. Well, he has. There's right? eight people under every tweet who like every tweet and think <laughs> it's cool. All the Punisher 00175. You know what's impressive? How a mumbling 60 IQ guy like Lingle can remember, not like that his lies are that complicated, but that he can remember that he ha is doing them. Yeah. It's impressive yeah. to me. And then well, he can guess, remember his passwords. I guess that he does too. see it uh, every time he logs into his new account and Although, then retweets it. <laughs> Alex, I've thought about that. I bet, I bet between you and I, we could brute force at least one of his passwords. So in like five minutes. Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's probably it's like, like a it would beef be, jerky three. It's probably it like, would be... <laughs> Kill kill queers one or something like that. <laughs> King his, Lingle three. The cat he pretends is his own is named Cheeto. So one of the things is going to be like Cheeto one. Oh, that's so smart. For yeah. like Cheeto mine one, one two it's three. It's definitely something yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Oh, hundred percent sure. one, and then exclamation mark because <laughs> if it requires a special mark, then it's that one. <laughs> it's yep. an exclamation mark because it's that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Real gangsters do two at. That's right. Hackers never do that. They got my password hands. is Lingle. Better have my poop. One exclamation point. <laughs> Great. Now everybody knows. Now everybody knows. I'm sorry. <clears throat> my password is. Uh, this is my final letter. I'm going to kill myself. One. And I just have to type it in all the time. <laughs> well, let's find a password generator. <laughs> let's go. Oh, there go. Should my password be? <laughs> that would be a good fake website to have. Quora. Like, all Quora. right. What is your first name? You're gonna see Jack's what is your last answering name? that on Quora. Watch video. <laughs> <laughs> Watch video. Watch video. Watch you video. You should go back on Quora. I do like the idea of 
creating a website that's like pa random password generator and like you just save everything <laughs> like type in your, all the same type one in, type in your email type in every your time login. you hit it it generates <laughs> the same password and you're just well it just it just like caches it so it saves <laughs> your login info and your password and you're like there it is there you go yeah man. give me all your login info and i'll tell you what your password should be yeah download my password manager it's free and it changed everybody's password to like the the minimal number of characters and it's just all asterisk typed in <laughs> i'm actually a password Password manager is my job. I'm a password <laughs> oh, manager for I all my a, friends. They question. tell me their passwords yes. and I use Go them. Let's hear the question. Uh, Tom said clear your cache. Is that how that's pronounced? I cache. No. Because I've cash. always just said cache. Cache is yeah, correct. Cache is I, like a different. Cache is, cache, cache is the Sherlock lady. Like cultural so. cache. Yeah, cache is the or, Sherlock or cache, daughter. Yeah. That's why I say it all the time. Their beautiful daughter that, that poses in front of the fireplace. She's righteous gemstones if I'd. She's I the love one. Those pictures. Yeah, they're the best. She she's the one who has the most yassified face mm -hmm. and like just the dead also eyes. Also, the most confounding yeah. captions like she does it all to have it mm -hmm. big. She uh, she's standing they, in front of a fake fireplace. She was in New York City with her possible daughter, possible younger sister. Um, Never tell. And yeah, you well, it's it's very dark. But like, there's this Nick's fine jewelry guy they always go to and. New York City and like they made the girl stand in front of him posing and then he's in there talking behind her talking about she's buying all these diamonds she's buying all these diamonds they're getting it in 2025 you heard it here first folks oh, awesome. <laughs> and they just go to him every single time and I I don't know that's Do they cool buy though the diamonds no I can't tell you I think maybe the, the influencers just go to these they're they they go, it's like they're a, the traveler influencer they're all gonna go to that guy and get their diamond videos for their reels yeah I, uh, Jersey girl looks financial district vibes. Oh, it's a real good day in Manhattan. <laughs> I got a beautiful <laughs> notification on my. Um, oh, I got two today actually, on my fake Facebook. One of them is "Welcome to Irish Travelers Group." Admins have approved your request to join, which took. Oh, like that's big. A couple months, but anyway. That's, that, um, yeah. Also, a post time. and proud to be white in all caps. It says, "Any other Australians here?" <laughs> but, You're um, barely even white. Every single every single traveler I go to, first of all, they're all very funny looking, of course. But mm -hmm. um, all of them, where it says school, and it always says like, "I don't, didn't go, never went." And then this one guy said, "School spelled wrong." It was just S H shoes shoes fair pricks shoes <laughs> shoes fair pricks. And then I'm sure many people know, uh, but the Irish travelers are just Irish. People who uh, live in like South Carolina and Texas and all this. Yeah. And it, they do arranged marriages at the age of yeah, two, 12, <laughs> and they, five. Uh, they steal stuff and they do driveway scams. They, like they'll go up to a different town and they'll say, oh, we'll repaint your drive. We'll, we'll re tar it and put all the shit on. And then they do like two inches of it and then leave and their number doesn't no, work. No, not even. They paint, they, they'll paint the driveway black when they, instead yeah. of like paving it. Any sort and of just bucket they're town. using, it's half water. Yep. Yeah, watered down paint. And then it rains in like two weeks. <laughs> yeah, where were those <laughs> they got, guys? They got one star, but hey, you Well, I know paid. his last name was Sherlock. That's they're, all I remember. They're the result of a. Uh... They're the Irish that left during the famine. So there's a mm -hmm. fuckload in England still, too. Yeah, and the well, they didn't really leave. Their, they just their went to a, a certain place and inbred. Yeah, true. The um, ones, some was for the persecution. Ones, but, the um, ones in England and the ones in Texas are, like, truly evil. Yeah, the South Carolina special, ones are special kind of note like, on the Texas ones. Out of their choice, they decided to land in White Settlement, Texas, <laughs> which is my favorite detail. Because they were the ones who uh, took out a life insurance policy on some random lady and then killed her and then tried to catch it. <laughs> yeah, in. you don't want to fuck with Texas ones. My favorite that. thing about that, the, that, that particular uh, case where they had lady killed for the life insurance, I believe 43 of them got indicted on that. So they were all going to get a chunk of that life insurance. <laughs> yeah. That's so it was cool. Like a, it was like so $2 cool million. Conspiracy to murder involved 45 people. So you get $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hey. barely any money. It's like Sons of Anarchy crimes. It's, it's if, if only everybody gets $1,000, then you have to split the one death per 45 people, right? <laughs> so if 45 people are in on it, Dude, you can't jail all 45 all those, of us. Someone's getting out. All those guys are going to be in prison. It's going to be like the scene from Shawshank where they're tarmacking the roof, but it's going to be all of the, the travelers. <laughs> and they're going to be they're gonna be bargaining with the guards to see who can get paid the most to do it. <laughs> yeah, they just get, they're completely left out of prison labor. 
Oh man. <laughs> now you guys can just stay inside. Don't worry about it because we know you're not gonna, you're not actually going to do it. Read some books. You're going to do two letters <laughs> on the license plate and say all good. Um, Shul sucks. This is you know what's crazy too, and I mean we know this we know this for a fact, but the roots of the Southern travelers, which are the ones that settled in uh, uh, South Augusta, South Carolina, North, or North, North Augusta, South Carolina, and then um, and then white settlement. It's it's very they said it's very easy to trace back the families that initially emigrated who were the Rileys, the McNamaras, who are the Texas ones, the Carrolls, the mm-hmm. Sherlocks, the Garmans, the Costellos, and the Darties. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all of our our dudes. Uh, but you know what's funny, and maybe I've talked about this on here, maybe I haven't. The reason we found like the Sherlocks was because of Jamie Sweaty. He was posting like all of his really yes. Mm-hmm. So he was posting all of his pictures, and there was always this one account. It was like Tom J Sherlock, and he he, he would That's reply to him. Name. Yeah, he would reply to him every day, be like, "You piece of shit, fuck you, so cool. <laughs> you're ugly, all this stuff," and like he would just he was constantly just going after him is he a texas guy no he was a south carolina i believe really usually the texas guys they're feisty yeah the guys who go after hog yeah they don't like hog the guys going on a hog hunt that's what they call (laughs) no one likes hog (laughs) but like ruin it for all of us by being too round and we kept noticing and so like drew and i were looking and we like clicked on him and it was just him replying mean things to uh Jamie Sweaty over and over again, and then like you go through his follows, like who the fuck is this? Who could this be? And then like it's all these Sherlock people, and we're like, well, that's weird that they all have the same name. And that's where we fell into the Sherlock rabbit hole mm-hmm. and sort of figured out who they all were. But it is very funny that Jamie Sweaty led us <laughs> into the Sherlock. I was always aware of what the Irish travelers were, but I didn't really know yeah. about the American ones, and I definitely didn't know how fucking cool they were. Yeah, and like how prevalent they were in that area, and like how much. Like, if you go to Augusta, Georgia, you are going to run into a well, Sherlock. If you go to Orlando, Florida, you're going to run into a That's Sherlock. one of the most um, interesting they, things, there too, uh, is how they do the they do this thing where they have the uh, the facade mansions, where they have this <laughs> really ugly McMansion, and they don't they don't even focus on having, like, nice, some of them don't even have windows. I mean, I've showed those before, like, on, on Twitter and stuff, the house with, like, no windows on three sides of them, like, where you could see it. It's because they actually all live in a trailer behind this house, but they mm-hmm. just, they pay, they like build each other these fucking shells of big houses. And, uh, uh, the Romas in Romania do that as well. Mm-hmm. And, and ten, ten to rise where a lot of them live. Like we're settled. We have a house. We have a house guys having a giant facade in front of the wagon. It's a house. We're settled. We have a fixed address. It's fine. Sprawling mansions paid for legally but or by legally obtained funds line the streets of tiny Romanian town of Tenderai. It's so cool. And it's Yeah, yeah I mean that's empty. exactly what they do. And like you are not allowed in Murphy's Village basically. Like if you are driving through there, somebody will just start following mm-hmm. you. Uh, yeah. There's been cases Guys, where I'm like, white. I'm white. <laughs> someone's like they've like heard gunshots and then like, there was a gunshot like gun bullet like bullet holes in the back of their car. The only like, outsider that's been even been allowed in, with the uh, the South Carolina ones is their priest, the old Indian guy. Yeah, and they put him in a wicker man. <laughs> they put him in a wicker man. He's he's dead now. Yeah, that guy's that guy's mentioned in so many articles about them. Because mm-hmm. every they priest will, is because well the the travel yeah the travelers will always mention like the only outside around here is the priest like mm-hmm. and, and it's be, very much that I mean they're they're closed off anyway because obviously they're doing like murder conspiracy between forty three people type stuff but also their culture too like they're still doing organized marriage in twenty twenty four yeah well yeah. not it but like that's, also, what, that's why they need the priest they're promising yeah. their brand new daughters to these fat already alcoholic 16 year old to fucks. their brothers yeah yeah it is basically. and it's to their cousin and shit like that's why they all look so fucked up and then there's also the case of every single week there's a new post about how like a child passes away because they mysteriously and they never say why but they're more than likely just like they wandered into the street and got hit by someone looping around yeah, and they're just drag drag fucking truck drunk even on the before it actually got remapped like this past summer, but on the 2012 coverage of of North Augusta, there's kids driving little kids like three and four year olds driving around on golf cart Gucci golf carts around that neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> sounds pretty cool. It is cool. We got some Gucci Goombas on the loose. Yeah, some little Gucci Goombas. Those might be the Costellos over there. It's weird that that's an Irish name. I know. Makes very, no sense. Very sus. 
What's wrong something with it being wrong. Irish? <laughs> What's wrong oh, with nothing's, it being Irish? Nothing's wrong with it. It's just seems like um, it's, it shouldn't end with a vowel. It's travelers, travelers are the uh, the subject of that show as well. My big fat gypsy wedding. They uh, so there's only one couple from the Irish travelers, and then they got shunned by everybody else. Yeah, because they went on, on it. They went on yeah, that show because they they showed the customs and everything. Mm -hmm. So despite the fact that they tweet out and post on Instagram every like fake aspect of their life but they'll show you there was a the one lady brought her her like five-year-old son to an mgk concert <laughs> uh what's wrong my with boy that Egg, nothing nothing at all but American, it is funny i didn't know they did that type of shit in, in Ireland oh, yeah. or in england they all just sort of give their kids names like the waltons like john james john mm -hmm. john joyce john ronald ron donald like the, that those types of names matthew mark luke and john john connor yeah they, they do that over in in with that's where the the England Irish travelers, that's what they uh, go with their names. But over here, they look around at brands in their house. They're like, all right, Canon, well, but from the camera. Um, that's, the, uh, that's the new generation because the generation that's having the kids now that are like more, well, I guess they're like a little younger than us. Like, <laughs> but they were, they were all like, they're, it's all Patrick. They're like 14, John 15. Patrick. <laughs> yeah. That's the Patrick child John. generation. Yeah, uh, it's all those, and then now you start seeing like six year olds named uh money. You see <laughs> like Ferrari, there's Porsche, Ivy, they're like anything they look like <laughs> any brand, like Michael said, any brand they see, they're just like, Oh yeah, that's what I like. There are kids named money. They have mm -hmm. children named money, cash. <laughs> yeah, cash. That's the original brand. <laughs> oh, you name him after Johnny? No. There's there was one kid that looked like a little uh he looked like a Jimmy Neutron voodoo doll one of the ugliest babies I've ever seen his name was Emperor Carol. Ah <laughs> uh, man, there was uh, a <laughs> one of the That's accounts awesome. one of the accounts tweeted out um like a whole like report card where it, from like one of their schools with like it had all the kids names on it for some reason and like their grades yeah, uh, and like the names were just it was you could tell which ones were Sherlock <laughs> yeah it, that would it, it would be something where, that would like go viral with the last names uh censored if their teachers weren't like their aunts yeah yeah they would get shunned mm -hmm. getting shunned for blowing up the kids shit yeah <laughs> Look at these dumb little shits. And they're interesting too because even though these girls turned 16 and they married their the guy they've been already basically dating their whole life, basically being groomed by their family, both yeah, their families. Uncle, yeah, by their so, cousin. So they marry this 34-year-old fat red guy who who like I I, I am not exaggerating. A tr an average traveler man at 35 years old, just imagine a 35-year-old in like 1818. Mhm. Mm and yeah. it's about they the same, but like a, a wealthy one. They they have a very short lifespan. Yeah, yeah they the live men, like Henry the Eighth. Yeah, yeah, all the men die got, by like fifty. <laughs> they're doing some sort of foie gras type thing to themselves, trying to get yeah, the, the fatty liver. Salted up. meat and beer. Mm -hmm. they, that's, that's they all you don't. Need. Yeah, like they they do labor. Like I mean, you know, not real ones, but like that is their job. It's like roofing or painting. It's a lot barns. of work to get out of town in time. Yep, driving. Yeah. <laughs> you got to drive three or four states away. Get as mm -hmm. far away as yeah. you can in a couple of days drive. You have to change your phone number. And then you, <laughs> it's a lot of work. You drive around these sort of rural areas that are still within like nice distance of a decent sized city. So, you know, people have some money and you go and you walk up their long ass driveway and go, Hey, uh, we're new around here, but we just see your driveway needs to be done. We'll give you a hell of a deal. All we need is this much money for our supplies and we'll charge you this. And they give them a crazy deal. And mm -hmm. eventually somebody's going to say yes to that. They go and buy one bucket of the fucking cheapest shit. They do one mopping layer <laughs> across, which also half it's yeah. all over their lawn on each side. Mm -hmm. And then they fucking just, they disappear from their, after their lunch break and drive back home to their <laughs> child wife. It's so dumb. That's yep. a dumb thing to do. Just let your driveway look like shit. If you can't afford to get an actual job done, like it's not that, you can park on the dirt if it's that big of a deal. The, the men have such a annoyingly hedonistic like okay i worked two days this week i need to go golfing now for four days straight and i need to I, party and i will be uh -oh. doing a bender the entire time and no no women are allowed you will all stay home and hang out with the babies we'll be back yeah, it's like guys on an oil rig or the army or something except they don't actually do any work these are the guys who they're the only guys who aren't truckers that are stopping at lion's dens to like jerk off in the fucking erotic <laughs> theater and shit just because they can i have uh yeah they I've, live like guys who do manual labor but their job is like talking to an old lady tricking her into cutting a check and then skipping town 
I know I've talked about the uh, golf tournaments because those are my favorite aspect. Yes. Where, so they all love golf <laughs> and they'll be like, OK, we're raising money um, for the church with this golf tournament. And then the, the winner is going to take home half of it. it's going to be like a 50 50. <laughs> and every four months, three months, they someone hosts it. Right. And whoever hosts it gathers all the money and then steals all the money and doesn't give it to anybody else. And then they all make complaints about it for like a month. And then like on the next month, someone else hosts it and then they all put in the same amount of money <laughs> yeah. and then that person steals that it. And, go? and it's just like, oh, it's just like Ouroboros of like people stealing money from each other. Yeah. This is what happened. This is, this is the problem. Okay. If you're going to have an isolated culture and community, like a lot of these like un uncontacted tribes are and stuff, you can't have like a high rate of crime within it because mm -hmm. yeah, this you is gotta what have happens. an actual community. You gotta look out for each other. Yeah, it's it's such a paradoxical thing because people talk about how like uh, having you know the same ethnic group and having the same culture like that's the the classic right wing thing. Like you you won't have crime. You won't have all these problems. You just have a bunch of people who are all cousins and they're all the same race and they live in the same community. But no, there there there's constantly crime. They. They settle their fucking beefs like that one day in Peru where everyone punches each other in the head, but they do it with, mm -hmm. they, they get their biggest, baddest ass son to do the call out on Facebook and they're all standing behind them, even like old men wearing shysties, like you're so <laughs> cool. Standing behind your big fucking red son while it's like pouring rain, he's like, there's a call out, phone McDonough. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that shit. Even though they, they did the same thing a month ago and they're going to do it in like seven months when they host the golf tournament. Mm -hmm. They just well, get everyone mad. gets a shot. I know. Everyone everyone gets their money back because everyone just steals money from each other. Yeah, it's like everyone gets to be I the owner of the also, casino for one day. It seems that the American travelers have lost their way as far as settling things with bare knuckle boxing. They don't do shit. Oh, for yeah. That. No, they're they do they're too not. fat and lazy. The uh the too English busy ones... off the lion's den. <laughs> The English ones are, are more, way more violent in that aspect because if you follow these people, they'll also, there's like Twitter pages that are just like Irish traveler, like acting up and like, it's all just videos of them doing shit. Because they learn from hooligans. Uh, and then- They learn from the British white people. The ones over here, they're just learning from like cooking with Jack. <laughs> they're, it's like McMansion culture that they're accustomed to. It's videos of them like doing shit and then very racist videos being like, these immigrants are, are ruining our country. I've, uh, um, the travelers are saying that. Oh, the travelers are crazy racist. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> crazy. They, uh, what was it? Um, they have a bunch of locked accounts. And, um, so following those, you'll see stuff where they'll take a picture of like, there's someone, there's like a, a drawing of a gorilla at like a, a, restaurant or whatever and they'll take a picture of that and then caption it with something that i can't say Ooh. and they like to say that stuff a lot you know what else though i've noticed between beyond just hog tom mm -hmm. despite them being racist as fuck the men are obsessed with black women oh of course like in obviously like the grossest ways but like hog himself he would he would probably hang himself if beyonce told him to <laughs> <laughs> hog is like I, cause I'm not even, I'm not even sure that Hog is like attracted to that. He's, he's, he's definitely a queen. He's way more yeah, of a queen. Yeah, no, I think it's more like anything. it's on the, it, like the song comes on the radio, and like Halo, yeah. and it makes him horny. And um, <laughs> he's always listening to that shit. Mm -hmm. He's the best. I love him. Yeah, and then he's, he's the taking best the one. selfies, and like it's just his big fat red face, and he's just like, oh, I'm looking so good today. Yeah. Red, red, <laughs> so oh, red. red. It's the same thing with Frank the Tank. Like if he walked by a, a metal table and it pricked his, his leg, it would spray all over. <laughs> I'll put it in our, our little chat here. like a pressure I watched, washer. I watched this on stream uh, a couple years ago, but and it's all on YouTube. But there's a documentary from the, the Travelers in England oh, okay. called Knuckle. Popping is in. It just keeps going. <laughs> it just it's about... It's about like a rivalry between two families. It's ongoing. And the guy who shot that documentary shot it for a decade. So you see a bunch of those guys fight each other like over and over. <laughs> Pretty good. I I mean I just love him. I'm trying to I'm just looking at hog picks. <laughs> I'm against fighting. Hog is so awesome. He what does he do? Best. Does he do driveways? He's a tar master. Yeah. 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 I would oh, hire yeah. him to do mine. Or no, I would hire him to do my neighbor's driveway. 
Oh, you know what's a really good bit that they continue to do is where they're posting pictures on Twitter or Instagram and they have the picture saved on their phone and then they take a screenshot of it from like Snapchat or like their photo album. So you see at the top, it's like home February 1st, yeah. 2 14 p.m. <laughs> and so like they sick. post that. Like you can just post the picture. You have the picture. Do you know what I what also you- love? They go. They they go once a year like it's fucking like going on Hajj. They got to go to Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Really, it's weird. They're so cosmopolitan that they do that. Oh my god! I mean, it's just all about fucking. They remind they are me, travelers. They remind me kind of uh, one of my ex girlfriend's relatives from Taiwan when they would visit. Same mm-hmm. same sort of like interested in sort of what they want to do when they go to a city. Like, let's go to the biggest mall. Let's searching try on, for the brightest lights. Let's like try, a moth. On, try on watches we're never going to buy because they're like 50 grand, that sort of thing. Tourists are like moths. They end up in Times Square. Yeah, just flying around. around. Like, that, that tweet, you changed the whole game this Lenten season. And it's just the DoorDash picture that the guy <laughs> sent to him. Yeah. <laughs> Cat says, DC rate your order, food. and he hasn't rated it yet. <laughs> like, why are you posting the picture of it in front of your door? So there's also, it. like, <laughs> I think he's in a hotel. I guess clearly no tip. <laughs> oh, he's he's awesome. Uh, oh, and the, he's just posting stuff about how E. Jean Carroll is lying. Yeah, of course. And then yeah, sunglasses. It's six hundred and sixty-seven oh, photos of he's, himself. <laughs> he's a guy too, where I don't ever like talking about him because I don't want him to get ruined by uh. Yeah, of course. People. He does have a blue well, check. But but um. He's a celebrity. I uh, his fucking. He's another guy that's obsessed with the. The lady that was on the plane. That motherfucker is not real. Oh he my would, god! He would yeah. be tweeting oh, about her yeah. like four months later, being like, "Wonder what she's up to today." Like horny. There's catnip for dumb guys. Horny. AR15 was talking about her. They were all so horny for her. It's just a woman. You can tell when he gets real fucked up because he starts posting a lot and like posting the same pictures of himself. Mm-hmm. And then the <laughs> other day, he was uh, draw like writing his daughter's name on his arm and taking pictures of that. <laughs> like. God, taking he, pictures of his like food yeah, orders he does like um he does this thing where he'll get all liquored up in the little motel when he's driving yeah. home from tarmacking and you can oh, tell he's, he's just best. fucking he's probably he's probably watching a bunch of fucking pornos on the tvs there and charging that someone's someone else's credit card <laughs> yeah i love when he's in his feelings <laughs> he's the best god damn i love him so much yeah, and he's it, posting like a luther always, vandross song and saying like this is my heart this is my heart he always goes. He go, always goes on. He goes Drake driving. A Drake can drive. <laughs> Drake, Drake can drive. drive. Yep. Don't Drake can drive. That's what he does. Oh, that's the goat. Thank you, Hog, for all all you do for me. You yep. make me so happy. And thank you for sticking your white baby's baby hairs to her head like a Latina. This is cool. <laughs> white baby, you can't be styling your hair like that. He, yeah, <laughs> he's been doing that to his white baby since she was like literally a day old. It's That's so weird. That's such a weird bringing, thing. Bringing hair gel to the fucking delivery room so you can gel your baby's baby hairs God. down. Like that is that is not your shit. But that they is not all your do shit. That. It's cool. They all do it. Yeah, it's like um, it's like a pageantry thing. And it, it is it's, very it's much super a fucking. Thing. Uh, it's like it's tradition that goes back to how they were in Ireland, like way back when. They mm-hmm. invented it because they used to do like the thing where they Did would they invent baby hairs. They would yes. <laughs> they invented dreadlocks and these box little, braids. These little clans, like how it's the Carols, the fucking Sherlocks, and the Gormans over mm. by uh in in uh in South Carolina, and they're they're like those ty- That's how the 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 clans would be in uh in Ireland too back in like the eighteen hundreds. It'd be like three families that are together. And they would buy a bunch of expensive shit to pass around when they'd have a party so they all look rich together. Like, <laughs> but it's all shared. It's awesome. It's like fucking rent center Damn. Yeah, it's weird that they still have clans. Like, they still have clans in Scotland. They've been doing it for so How long, How do you guys though? still have that shit? Get, the, get that the know. fuck out of here. Grow up. <laughs> that and the monarchy need to get out of here. I was reading recently how uh, those stupid things where they're like, you can buy a, you know, a an inch of land or whatever in Scotland, now you're a lord. Oh, those, yeah, those oh, yeah. fake yeah. things. Yeah. How the, the lordships, how they're fake and everything. I didn't realize that it's a, it's like a punishable crime to, what's it called when you claim that you have a, like a noble name? Uh, there's a special word for it, but to claim that, uh, especially for like personal gain in, in the UK is like a, a punishable crime. Yeah. I, really I guess it would make crazy. sense. It would be, it would be kind of like pretending to be a cop or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like going I, around I, as a lord or a sir, I, I like you don't have why. that. And also, it would be really annoying. <laughs> like, yeah, if anyone Someone who could... isn't a lord saying, "I'm a lord," by the way. Yeah, Fuck they, you. they already do that. And it was crazy because I saw 
uh, a fucking YouTube ad the other day. I'm like, a, a big channel that had like 20 million views. And the, it opened up with the ad and it was like, buy, buy a piece of land in Scotland now. Like, yeah, no, I've, the video. I've seen that on, yeah, like, it, God, they must pay a fuckload like, because these yeah. are, these are YouTubers where I wouldn't predict they would be pushing something so fake and stupid. And yeah, it sort that's, of ruins that's the, for old people. It sort of ruins the discourse on whatever video they put on too because you go to the comments and it's everyone being like, you know, that's fake, right? <laughs> like, <just> people like, <laughs> Yeah, it's just a piece of paper. It's like owning a star. Yeah, I was going to say, but the star I bought is real, right? Like, I own that yeah. star. Like, that yes. makes sense if you're a kid, if you're five years old, and you have the certificate that says you own a star. The star thing, though, is literally cooler, because there's also infinite stars, so who really cares? You can yeah, see. You get a cool name. Well, but, maybe you can but see. But that's, that's one of the dumb the dumb guy lies that I was I was thinking of this week that guys love to do, uh, and uh, along with... Saying that your dog, your uncle's dog, your dad's dog, or your grandpa's dog was part wolf. <laughs> Especially if you give it a special number, that doesn't make sense. Like 17% wolf. Mm -hmm. And they were all half brothers. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, any guy who says he saw an animal that was extremely impossible to see out of its range, like a kangaroo in Alberta's type guy, like that sort of thing. <laughs> Has anyone uh, ever I've seen claimed one that? Of those. I, I mean, like, just that sort of like. I've seen a wallaby, but not a kangaroo. That's sort of extreme, I guess. Um, I've seen a Tasmanian devil and it looks exactly <laughs> like the cartoon. He's in oh, my yeah. yard right now in a cage. We tied him down. Is it cold in Alberta for kangaroos? Cause they, I know um, they're like a, they're like invasive in Australia because of all the deforestation that happened. Queensland has like by far the most and it's pretty tropical there. Well, I think they'd warm so themselves up like by, it. uh, by hopping so much, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that true. They go south for the winter, maybe. Are the nights cold in the desert? Oh yeah, in the outback, the outback. But the nights are very cold in the desert. They thrive there, though. Like, Can kangaroos live in Alberta? That's also why that show I watch sometimes in the morning called uh, Border Border Security, Australia's first or front line or something. It should be called Harassing South Asians Traveling with Food. Yeah, like, that's literally all the show is. Of but course. Australians are so crazy stringent on like bringing species in or like uh, like they bust a lot of people bringing reptiles and shit into the country obviously trying to sell like exotic animals and stuff yeah but yeah. they're they have they have like the same fucking biome they've had since like dinosaur time there and it's because they have crazy fucking security on that stuff which is wow. i think is a good I think thing rabbits are invasive <laughs> there right uh yeah yeah the, that sounds uh, about right when my wife worked at universal that, cool. universal studios when she was in college there was one time where these uh, Brazilian tourists were leaving and they had like this box and like the security guard, when she was working the gate, they were like, what do you, what do you have in that? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Cause it was like, kind of like shaking mm. and they were just like, no, no, nothing, nothing. And then like, they made them open it up and they were trying to take home pigeons. <laughs> they were trying to take pigeons from the oh park my God. back to their hotel Idiots. room. And yeah, I these don't people, know. These people on this one episode of that show had like so many fucking these massive, you know those lizards that kind of look like uh, their head is the same as their tail and they're covered in scales? They yeah. had like They had like 30 of those. Trying to go I, on a I plane don't... with that shit? Why? What are you, why? Why are you doing? Think, <laughs> why are you doing this? I think just causing problems. To... Yeah. Um, I, I looked up if you can have an Alberta uh, kangaroo mm -hmm. and it's, it's not prohibited so you're allowed to have one as a pet and I found a news article from 10 years ago about a, a pet store in... Uh, where the hell is it? Uh, uh, Oak Tokes. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like <laughs> south of Calgary. Um, we're like, they fucking called Alberta's Department of Sustainable Resource Development because they like saw a kangaroo in this pet store. But here's the bullshit thing and the reason why I bring it up. You know what they named this kangaroo? Mm. Dingo. Mm. Well, I get that's it. confusing. It is super confusing. Here's my it, dog. Though? His name's Cat. Yeah, it's like that. Wow. That's so weird that they ban rats, but they don't ban kangaroos. I know kangaroos are less of a problem, but they could probably be a problem. The rodents. They could definitely be a They're problem. They're cuter. <laughs> they might get killed off by the yeah, winter, but yeah, you never no, know. I, uh, I, watch, I watch an animal rescue guy who's got kangaroos, and when it goes below freezing, he's got he's to get them into a, a heated barn. He's got to put them okay. down. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to shoot them. you got to get a new crop <laughs> every year. Into a grave. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hold on, guys. we got to dig into a grave. Speaking of owning wild animals... <laughs> Dumb motherfucker AAP is live for the first time in like six months the other day. Oh no. What is up, everybody? <laughs> and I really did a number on my account 
changing my the whole name and the the profile picture. I don't know what I was thinking taking this long break like this. What's up, everybody? Bam! But uh, <laughs> somebody in one of the one of the people in chat like Betty's bed bugs and beads or whatever <laughs> was like blah blah blah. And my, my, my brother wants to get a tiger cub or something. He's like. Well, that'd be really awesome. Now that we got all this land, I can get whatever I want. Yeah, up here in Michigan, they don't they don't care what animal you have. You can have anything here. It's like, that's not fucking true at all. I can't wait for the other shoe to fall. I don't know what it's going to be. If it's going to be property taxes or the Department of Wildlife or the school board or something. The but oil someone is going to come down gas hard lines. on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah the gas what, lines. It's going to be a big shoe-shaped house that they're going to live in with all their kids. <laughs> they're breaking every single possible law. Every zoning regulation, they're like, they're cutting down the neighbor's tree. They're doing uh, unlicensed buildings on the property. They've got these animals without having them checked by a vet. They're just, everything's off the books. I was laughing at this, uh, there was a family that was like dirt poor. You can tell this Russian family on Google Street View in like Krasnodar, down on the, the real warm part of the western, southwest side. And they had this little cow pen that was all just like driftwood put together to make it. And it looked really cool. It was so much better than the AAP's piece of shit one was like, <laughs> yeah, these cows get out, man. They get, they're really smart. They can figure it out no matter how good we do it. It's like, you put one <laughs> strand around this shit. <laughs> these cows are smarter than me. They can figure it out. That was one of the best ports to get slaves from in they, the old days. They also tilled. This oh, is their first you. time ever having a garden, I think, and they tilled like an entire acre. <laughs> yeah. Well, they got those kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess so. They just didn't tell them to they're stop. They're playing Stardew Valley in the yard, basically. Like, let's go out in the yard and try to do some farm stuff. I said the other day, the only thing they're going to have that's going to grow, there's going to be pumpkins. It's going to drain everything out. And they're going to have, oh, pumpkin dinner. Let's go. <laughs> Each of them just a big pumpkin in front of them. <laughs> Peanut butter and pumpkin. Eating all the guts. <laughs> opening, up the, <laughs> they're opening up the pumpkin and there's a tub of peanut butter. In <laughs> like a Kong. Just filled oh, with it. Oh, man. Pumpkin Kong. That, man, the fact that, like... It, you're just like, oh, dinner time. <laughs> like, all the kids are running up and just grabbing a thing of peanut butter. I it's so cool that they posted a picture TV. of the kids sitting cross-legged on the floor, on their plywood floor, eating out of the I peanut butter jars. I had to leave his stream the other day because I couldn't resist and tap the glass. And I put the, the warning emoji and said, you are too stupid to homestead. <laughs> yeah. And he got really mad. He's like, I know a lot of people, like, when it was, like, one of his little rants was like, but look at all the support I got. Look at all the love. Bam. Yeah, a lot of people have doubted me over the years, like my parents, my brother, DPS, everyone I know, my in-laws, my neighbors, the government, the the uh, the CPS, everybody. But I proved them all wrong by buying this eighty thousand dollar house. But going on the run from Man, child protection, <laughs> he is he is the most annoying type of fucking lying guy. Just mm -hmm. he's not even natively from Michigan. He fits in so well here. <laughs> so annoying. I think he might be. I know yeah. his wife is from South Carolina. Oh, okay, yeah, he's probably yeah, not sure if he wears lions both, shit, which is you, yeah. He, he seems he's like been a wearing it since guy. they sucked. He definitely does. Don't get me wrong, and the the accent fits and everything. But I know they lived in South Carolina before the other one. But yeah, Jesus they had Christ. some. I think they had a business where they were selling chickens, but they accidentally killed the last chicken for meat, <laughs> so they couldn't sell the the chickens. Oh my anymore. god, they failed a fucking RPG. How? Yeah. They're that they're dumb. Doing, it's like we had it, reset. It, does, it makes me think <laughs> about how many people in the old west must have been like that. Yeah, because it was sort of like the exhaust of all the excess people, all the excess white people from the cities in the <laughs> east. They would mm -hmm. send them west and say, "All right, there's a plot of land that Native Americans are already on. You can go deal with them by yourself with a Bowie knife, and then after that, you can farm." And then they would just have a cow that's a skeleton and have like a lean to and a bunch of crops. They're like trying to trying to plant crops on a rock and they all die. As Outlaw calls on one of his cookouts, a bowing knife. A bowing <laughs> knife. Yeah. But that's that's what we've said many times where like all these guys, like the M MM guys and AAP were like, oh, let's go back to a better time. Oh, uh, like traditional stuff. It's like in the 1800s, you would have been dead. 1950s, they would have been dead. I don't even think the funniest moment of that AAP return stream got covered. But he's just sitting there and he's like, Yeah, Ms. AAP will be back tomorrow. She, uh, he's, she's like, She's going to pick up some cats today. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> of course. Yeah, his kids need more things to torture. Anyway. <laughs> um, she should pick up some exercise instead of doing Ozempic and going to the mm -hmm. hospital for pancreatitis. Yeah, she should quit 
She's quit drunk driving across the central. M- yeah, she should not drink at eight in the morning. Yeah, but she keeps fucking up every, all of her projects because she's drinking so early. <laughs> anyway, um, he's sitting there and he's like, "Yeah, Ms. AP, she isn't here today to make my coffee, so I got to drink this." He pull, picks a monster up. It's like, "Where'd you get that, Mister Homestead?" <laughs> <laughs> you we made grew it. it. You guys grew it. Was in a pumpkin. Yeah, you guys, you guys plant a bunch of cans back there. Yeah. It was in a supply drop. But Why I'm, do you think they killed like, a whole people, acre? <laughs> those people will make their way to a gas station. You have a fucking farm and you can't go put your pot of coffee on? Oh my god. It's probably a ki- it's probably just a character too. He couldn't even put his cup in there. He's like, my wife's they have, like a ma- they have a magnet in their head. It's like Canada geese. They know the directions. <laughs> like, they know the direction to the nearest gas station. Yeah. They can tell you the exact amount of steps. <laughs> they can walk you through the woods. Yeah, they have like, like a, um, they have a HUD that comes up. In their in their vision, it's like an Apple thing that's built into their head, yeah. and they can just see a little dot where the next gas station. As is. As soon as they want a monster, it's just like like Google Maps Sitting comes around. to their hey, face. Can you give me a ride seven hundred ninety four <laughs> meters southwest? He lies to these old people in his chat too, and says like they live in the hills. Like what hills up there? You're such a liar. It's like <laughs> lowland wetland shit. Anyway, you can't be a homesteader. You can't be a homesteader and lying about like. Yeah, we can do what we want here. We don't run into people for miles, and then be drinking your fucking monster that's sweaty because it's still cold from the gas station cooler. It's no, no shot. <laughs> yeah, no one uh, actually moves out there. They're not the type of people that would actually move just to the middle that, of nowhere. It's not that far from anything. Dow Chemicals yeah. right by them, which is really good. Yeah, it's just an hour and a half north of where they were, because the land's really. They cheap. live right by where everyone's parents used to hate driving to go to soccer tournaments because they had like mm. this big ass park up there with like twelve fields. And it's in the, right in the middle of the state, so that's where all the travel teams would meet up. Mm-hmm. And it well, they're sense, tilling like, that right now. Yeah. <laughs> they think it's their yard. <laughs> it made sense, like, logistically. That's, they that's, planted a bunch that, of pumpkins. That was, that that was Midland. Soccer balls. That's Midland, Michigan. That's where Dow is, but they don't, uh, they live a little further Peter? from there. Yep. Dow Chemical. Peter Dow. I'm trying to think of. Peter Dow. I think of this city. We, one of the world's biggest softball tournaments is right down the road from where I work. And it was the week it was happening. It was so funny because it was all these coaches and parents coming in and they were all making the same joke. We're like, yeah, we hey. told them we had to make a little pit stop on the way to the hotel. <laughs> when in Rome, right? It's like, hey. And then I had to. <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah. it's when like, in Rome, to like Denver. Denver. Euro, the way I'm watching this burn. And they hey. all got different kind of Super Bowl. <laughs> different types of World <laughs> Series. I, I, I Nero is my. Years. That was the. <laughs> My CD burning program I would use all the way until... Yeah, this is my favorite CD burning program. It's my favorite political commentator on Twitter. And it's my favorite emperor. And it's my favorite uh, dubstep DJ. That too. (laughs) While that guy gets around. I miss Milo. (laughs) He was so nice to me when I was 12. Oh my god. He was such a good friend to me. I was so lonely. He's straight now. Oh, really? He's straight now, yeah. Is, is he, he still on that? Yeah, he claims he uh, cured himself of being gay. I bet he just oh, can't well, then let him anymore. back on Twitter. <laughs> I don't think he's No back one wants on to there. fuck I his think... dumb ass. Was he one of those guys that got unbanned the band again? Or was that just Fuentes? Uh, I think so. Fuentes. Yeah, he's just, he doesn't know what not to say. Which is yeah, why he Fuentes went on the radio and said, well, it's actually pretty good to fuck kids if you think Maybe, about it. No, Fuentes was <laughs> never even on band because he was the one, one of those people that was tweeting from Kanye's account when they were in person. Oh, yeah. Mm. He tweeted the thing about Cozy TV or whatever. Co- that to... Kanye shouting out Cozy TV really helped. If you go on there, <laughs> there's probably about three people live right now. Yeah. All the new Kanye fans who until yep. then listened to Dragon Force and video game music. They're like, yep. actually, I like Kanye because people on 8chan said he's cool. Guys that listen to Sabaton until they realize, hey, wait a second. They want to be the Americans? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish Sabaton hey. was a little more racist. That's the people who just started liking Kanye this year. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wish like Kanye Sabaton made power like... metal. Imagine if Kanye and Varg made a, a glory metal record. That would be so badass. How Ian Miles Chungus and Elon today were talking about how, wow, didn't expect that. How all, all the all white people won Oscars, like in the best best actor and everything. And mm-hmm. Elon's like, well, that's unexpected. Like, racist fuck, who cares? Is it? But Ian Miles Chungus also responding like through Elon and being like, wow, woke is dead or something. And it's like, that's not... This is what woke is. It's like the fucking Sydney Sweeney thing. Like woke can't keep these titties down. It's like <laughs> you're you fucking conservatives are the ones that were saying put them things away. Like as soon as Sydney <laughs> Sweeney says she's leftist, it's gonna be over. You know, like stupid. oh yeah. Well, also Oppenheimer was a Jewish guy. I mean, they Elon just don't know like what they, they want. Like he's always 
I guess he just no. he he didn't even pay attention enough to notice that because no, he's always replying to like white tradition 1488 saying yo that's a really good idea they are trying to replace us I was so annoyed with that oh fuck man you oh I can't even say it I yeah, can't even not. say it he needs I hope he needs nothing to get bad happens to him mm -hmm. well that's true yep. he definitely needs to <laughs> get dicked down someone needs to do to him what he does to his daughter he's about on some dick. Yeah, he needs to be face fucked <laughs> by the big sartorialist. <laughs> yeah, that's what he needs. He should dress like that. Uh, I went to cozy.tv just to see mm -hmm. how that's doing right now. Guess how mm -hmm. many streams are live? Three. Four. Six across the entire oh, uh, platform. Yeah. Well, that's good. It's like only six channels. That's very traditional. You know, that's that's actually nice because, you know, easier to be discovered. Hey, they yeah. should call oh, they have 24-7 lo-fi cozy... Wow, that's hey, hey, they should call Cozy TV uh four chan sure for four channels are live at any time. <laughs> oh. Man, this is so I'm on this lo fi channel where it's a Pepe and it's lo fi beats and it's just it's like awesome. standard lo fi beats. And in yeah, the chat it's based Mexican Groyper and they're posting an emote of a Pepe with a blanket on kicking his feet. Earlier it's all the French shit. Uh, like I thought oh you guys God. were edgy. Earlier I was listening to Giga Chad Funk remix ten hours version. <laughs> and it's that <laughs> song that we're going. Dun, 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 with the, the like funk beat over it yeah holy fuck man the comments it's the internet is just so cyclical the comments are basically just every chuck norris joke you ever heard but it's like the 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 author of the comments saying it's them while they're mm -hmm. listening to that music and it's like yep that's funny yeah that's so cool so much of the internet is it's devoted to reassuring adiq guys that they're giga chads Mm -hmm. And they are. That's all of Twitter. That's like the primary purpose of Twitter now is for guys oh, for who sure. like physically cannot stop themselves from jacking off in the car so they can fantasize about being a god emperor. It's all about them. Aaron, do you want to share with the class? No. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> no, that's all Aaron giggling over there, but it must be something private. It's okay. It happens. Um, yeah. I, I don't like how it's so 2015 as far as the Groiper guys go and how all those guys are just like they they were never really gone but now they're back and like yeah have some sort of prevalence again it's it's still like it. probably it's getting too close to 2016 and 2017 that yeah um, it's very annoying I yeah that's what like I mean it feels it. like the meme wars yeah the flame exactly. wars and like I just at least <laughs> Left now meme. the biggest issue is that like they're just under every single uh, well, actually, you know what? I think it's a little bit better because even those guys are getting pushed out by the obvious like bot accounts and like yeah. just dumb accounts that anytime someone oh, tweets yeah. something, like the first five tweets are just like, pussy is this true? Bio. Is this real? Yeah, and pussy yeah. And yeah. Bio. Like it's not even funny. To, it's hack to make jokes about it, but it's still mm -hmm. fucking going on under every tweet. Even if they're, even if it's not the pussy and bio. If it's a big thing that goes viral, good luck reading any discourse on it because you have to get through fucking 15 Indian guys going, good for Leo. Yeah, it's exactly. Like about Leonardo DiCaprio. It's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, good it's, for it's Keanu. He put out his first song. So I actually, there's the ones that I think it's a little bit better. Paste, like the Wikipedia, like bios of these people and be like, uh, that's so, so she's funny. known as blah, blah, blah. And they paraphrase <laughs> it. It's so fucking, I mean, it's probably just ChatGPT. They say who is yeah, blah, blah, blah. But I love it. That. I, well, I think it's a little bit better because you get to, you get to see those guys before you get to see the like, the guys who bought the blue check thinking like, oh, they're going to see my tweets. I'm going to get paid. And like, I'm going to be such a cool, cozy groiper. And I'm going to get <laughs> Alex. I'm gonna I own everybody. That. You're right. I would love that, though, uh, Alex. A, a, a new comment button. Sort by yeah. new for, for <laughs> Twitter. That would be, yeah. be great. Like Reddit oh. has that. You can sort by new. You should be able to sort by new under a tweet. I want to see him come in like an Elon Musk tweet. What's hey, coming Reddit's in? going to get sold again. I see they got to a who? big valuation. Doesn't Condé Nast have it? I don't him? know. No, he, he's like a Nazi now. He's hanging out with Nick Fuentes. You didn't hear? Oh, right. Oh, I yeah. heard Reddit's going to be combined with Cozy.tv and Condé the Donald. Nast. And Gab. That's what, that's what he's calling himself now. Condé I Nast. Used to, I used to like his music. Yep. Uh, I think before Twitter can make like a, uh, a sort by new, I think sometimes they should uh, sort of fix the issues they had. I was trying to scroll through. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I know, oh, I know, but I was, I, I'm just segueing to, I was scrolling <laughs> through um, my media trying to find uh, one of the tweets I made about Nate um, and like Claincast, and then it immediately, I was in media tab, right? 
and it started showing me my own replies under the media tab and not showing me any media. And yeah, that, I was that like, that's weird. So and I scrolled up and it jumped all the way to January. And I was all over, in Damn. January. On, and this is like on the app too, on my phone, which works better than the website. If you go on the website, like nothing works. It's just I used to take broken. for granted so bad when they had a normal staff at Twitter and the, the site yeah. just worked. Yeah. Now it's, it's very like, funny. Well, it still gotta, technically works. Before you even reply in like a, D, a DM or a group chat, you have to fucking refresh it to make sure that 14 other people haven't replied to it yet <laughs> or whatever. Like, yeah, dog shit. Well, you know what? It they seems make, like it should make just count work. rocks. It's 2020. They make you count rocks before you can change your name to reduce the bots, and it's working. <laughs> That's true. It does. Uh... It's, uh, it was two today, by the way. If you're listening to this, uh, it was on March 11th. It was two rocks. That oh, was the okay. answer. Yeah, you have to do that a lot. I do. I do. That's like your job. <laughs> they kind of lock you out through of that AI shit. Too. <laughs> Just counting rocks. Same thing with Lingle. Oh, okay. Lingle's job is like training AI to know where a car is. Because <laughs> he has to do it a hundred times a day on all his different burner accounts. <laughs> I... I uh, I had to do they it. Should just pay him. I had He's to do it for Guster. something real. Yeah. I think I was looking at plane tickets, and I had to sign into my account on like Air Canada, and it made me do where you look where like it's pointing. And I was like, oh, I'm really good at this. <laughs> I'm kind of an expert at this. That stuff's so annoying. Oh, but it makes you, it doesn't uh, seem to prevent bots from doing anything. It would be one thing if there were no bots. I would say, okay, it works, but there are bots everywhere. You know I would what? do a capture that's so like they the got pussy and bio. They should do a jump scare one. And if you oh, fucking yeah. get mad, you're human. You have to turn on your webcam. <laughs> yeah. You get scared. You turn on your yeah, turn on your mic and if you scream, they let you in. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to argue with him. It was it was a squeal too high pitched to pick up. Dude, I'm the, still uh, laughing at how many people got tricked by the binaural knock last night. That was so fucking uh, funny. <laughs> Dude, people got up and went to check their door. It was so real they like, immediately jump up and rip their headset off. Yeah, going downstairs. Well, I guess yeah, someone did a ding dong dash. Fuck. That's so scary though, because it's like the fucking knuckle on the window one. Mm -hmm. The knuckle on the window one got me. I looked over and I was just like, "Oh wait, oh, okay." Yeah, <laughs> I gotta I, answer that. I, Hold I on, I'm getting that. a Discord call. I love the idea of leaving a Discord call because you're getting a Discord call. <laughs> oh fuck you guys! It's even the the knock one is even funnier. Like on a Sunday screen, because I played it in the the watch together, so people can even see it coming. But it's just one second, so they just yeah. they're looking at it, and then they go, they hear the knock, and they're like, uh. That's <laughs> but, what happened to me. I was like, just absentmindedly. Like, I hate that we, feeling though. You're fucking your heart rate shoots we, up, and you're immediately full of adrenaline. But then you're relieved that it's not. Because it was like knock. a it was like an Illuminator video, so you're only like half paying attention. And then Alex played it, and I was like, what? Ah. Oh. What the thank fuck? God no, I'm not gonna. Thank God it was the, the one in the dark. I didn't play the window. I don't have the window. <laughs> no, I, yeah, okay. I, I just have okay, Discord on iPhone. Yeah, because I have I have Discord muted, so I never hear Discord. <laughs> I don't what have do you that. mean? You have the you have the other tab, uh, the other one no, muted? No, the the uh, noises that you can play in here. I turned the volume all the way down. Oh, why'd you I do that? Hear those. That's fucking bullshit, dude. <laughs> no fun. Fuck you. Fuck you. I can't hey, hear any of that. Hell, the, uh, Come on. Well, that's bullshit. Dude, that's fucking dude, bullshit. Sorry. It, the, are you afraid? Afraid? smart? Are you scared? What the hell? The explosions the, the, here earlier this the week? Day, the day they added that feature to Discord, I mean. Because <laughs> oh, you're that's... scared. You're scared no. of hearing the Jack on the Go theme. <laughs> um, If you pay for Nitro, you have to change. I haven't even changed mine yet. I haven't decided on a sound. But you can change your entrance sound. So if you join channels, it'll be like, hello. You can make them like that, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Wait, nice. really? really? Where does that but, at? <laughs> or is it coming out? Yeah, they can Nitro to do it's, that. Uh, it's or, the second tier of it, so I think it's $10 a month or something. It's a little too steep for the purposes. Oh, maybe. I'm I don't think I even pay for that much. Looking for. Yeah, I don't care that much, but. I just want you know, some sounds. Love the sounds. Very, very, very cool. Oh, yeah, you get the custom profiles and more. Yeah, nine ninety nine a month. Then I can unlock the other sounds and other servers I'm on, like Podcast About List has one called Cry About It and Patriot's Prayer oh. and Coco Hot Melon. America. Custom sounds anywhere, yeah. Custom entrance sounds, that's the nine ninety, And you can join up to 200 servers. You can get banned from up to 200 servers. Oh, you know what my custom entrance sound would be? Cult of Personality. Ooh, oh, I love that. That's good. Oh, the last one is longer messages up to 4,000 characters. Awesome. Yo, speaking of, <laughs> speaking, of custom, of those. speaking of custom, speaking of custom, or entrance sounds, um, 
there's a there's a leak for the GeoGuessr World Cup, but the one of the GeoGuessr owners, head dev, said today that the entrances are going to be epic. So try to get there, like to the the qualifiers. So I think they're going to be able to pick their song or something. That'd be sick. Oh, that's a nice. Poop. <laughs> that's a good. I like that. Poop I just sent? What is that? <laughs> what I spoiler you texted that? it. It's your fault if you click it. <laughs> no, I'm just. I'm wondering who made that. I thought it. That can't I thought be, it was that's gonna, gonna be chocolate or something. <laughs> no, I don't know. Close. There's there's maggots on it. It was a. It was a yeah. No, it was a. Uh, it's a. It was like a campsite where it couldn't flush. Look at the maggots on top. Oh, okay. I, that's like a legendary picture. I thought it was picture. gonna be a geo. Oh, I want to eat that. And so I clicked on it as you're talking about it. I just want to eat that. Oh yeah. So for context, like, oh. for context okay. for the listener, while I was telling that about the GeoGuessr World Cup, I sent a picture to our chat with a spoiler image over it. When you open it up, it looks like a uh, toilet full of chili. It's actually probably like a week's long worth of poop from multiple campers. Yeah, some of them are black. Some of them are yellow. <laughs> I thought those were tomatoes. I thought yeah, it, it almost looks like a, a pile of beans. Can you imagine sitting on that thing to poop and just feeling no, all the turds already touched? Oh yeah, I would love it just just touching your, touching your ass cheeks. I I can't I can't imagine being the guy. The I would go in the woods. I would just go in the woods. Yeah, I would see one leaf. poop in there. Try to flush, but like, nope. Okay, well, I, yeah, I that's just, to, that's not a usable. I would toilet. try to cut through it with my pee. <laughs> yeah, I'll flush it down with my pee. All right, well, I gotta hey, dude, go. can I borrow your I'll shoe? Leave. I need to push this down. <laughs> leave it if you guys don't stop. I'm, I'm just getting over a stomach problem. I'm Chet, that's, already that's feeling like shit. Now so you, guys you don't get sick. Well, what what you do is you take off your sock. All you have to do is close the chat. And then you can push it down. <laughs> yeah, if you go to a different channel and go back, it'll be gone. But you could just, oh, that, that chat you could just close. <laughs> oh. It's but you guys well, just it's not like you can it. smell it. That's the problem. You're talking about it. Chet, lick your hand and smell it. It's like when I go to... Yeah, I'm already, I'm already having a hard shit. <laughs> that hardly matters, though. It's just how our bacteria work. Even if Seeing that shit makes me want to shit so bad. Mm. All right, guys, check Not out everybody. Yeah, check, right. out, check, out check out the everybody. picture. Of all the check out uh, Brianna Wu, Michael Rappaport. Uh, check Brett out Brianna Poo. Thanks, guys. And Eve Fartlow. Take I'm care. Throw up. Bye. 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 Bye.